Enhancing these feminine attributes will make you a magnet for masculine men. I am a magnet for high quality men. It's like they smell me, I don't know. And I'm gonna be telling you exactly how I went from attracting emotionally unavailable situationship, avoidant attachment style men, to high quality men that want to pursue me, that want to provide for me, that take the lead, the initiative, do all the planning, and I just have to look pretty. If you want to attract a provider, masculine man, there's three things that you need to do. And stay to the end because the last tip I'm gonna give you sort of makes all the other tips come together. Like you need this last tip to actually make it work. Masculine men attract feminine women. Feminine women attract masculine men. Now, this is not anything to do with gender identity. This is just the energy that you are in. For example, masculine energy is provider. It's taking the initiative, making the plans. Feminine energy is going with the flow, receiving, being open. And a lot of men nowadays are in their feminine energy. And a lot of women are in their masculine energy. The energetics of a masculine and a feminine is like the yin and the yang. The sexual polarities have to attract to create a whole. If you are a female in your masculine energy, you will not attract a masculine man. The sexual polarity will not be attracted in the first place. A lot of women nowadays are chasing men, not just physically, but more so emotionally and energetically, giving your energy to them, putting them on a pedestal. As a woman, your power is in your femininity. There is so much power in feminine energy. Personally, I think that it's more powerful than masculine energy. And we've been taught like, oh, masculine energy, the patriarchy, whatever. That's the power. It's not. I tell you, when I started embracing my feminine energy, I felt like I had the power. Not over men, but Feminine energy is inherently so powerful that men succumb to it. Men fought wars for women. They went to battle for women. Feminine energy is receiving, it is flowing, it's sensuality, beauty, creativity. Enhancing these feminine attributes will make you a magnet for masculine men. It's actually insane when I started doing this. It is literally like a magnet. Magnet. <laughs> I can't tell you how good it actually feels to start relaxing into your feminine energy and let the men lead. It's in a man's inherent nature to lead. They actually want to be of service to the feminine. The society, toxic relationships, trauma have programmed them to not be that way. And program with us all to not be in tune with our nature. Tip number one, no planning, no me. I do not pursue, I am pursued. You have to let the man pursue you. This is so important. Even at the very, very beginning stages, things like, oh, should I get your number? They need to take my number. I'm not calling them, they need to call me and arrange with me. You need to have strict boundaries, even early on. If they don't pursue me, they're not in their masculine, or they're not interested. Either one, I don't care. So if he's not wanting to pursue me, he's not in his masculine. I need a man who's gonna take charge, make the plans, and very early on, is important to recognize this, because if you've ever had a wishy-washy man, let's go with the flow, what do you wanna do? I don't mind. When are you free? This is not a man in his masculine. This is not me judging men that are in their feminine, but we are here to talk about how to attract a masculine man, and that that's not them. That's not them. You need to be clear on what a masculine man is, so you know what it is not, and you know what you're looking for, and you know what you need. For example, I was going on a date with a guy the other day, and the guy said a day, and I said, yeah, I can do that day. He didn't say anything else though. There was no time, there was no place. I was not going to ask him. I didn't ask. A few days went by, nothing was said. The day before, nothing was said. No plan was in place, I didn't go. 
There was no plan. I didn't ask him, what are we doing? When are we going? What time is it? Like a whiny little That's That's a whining little We are high quality women. And I just made other plans. He came to me and said, Oh, well, are we seeing each other today? I've already made other plans. I didn't know that there wasn't a plan. There wasn't a plan in place. I didn't know it was still happening. Bing. Masculinity is taking action. Providing, building, planning, taking care of you. You're not in charge. He's in charge. There's a saying, the things you ignore in the beginning are the reasons you end. Which is essentially when you ignore the red flags in the beginning, hoping he'll change. Those are the reasons that you end it in the end, whether that's one year, two years down the line. Because you have to take everything at face value. You, you can't think, oh, maybe he'll change, maybe he'll get better. He's not going to. This is why it's so important to get crystal clear on what it is you want in a man. Two, you are the prize. You're the prize. Your value is not determined by what you have, but by who you are. You're not competing with him who's worth more, who's done more, because he's trying to win you. You are the prize. You need to be won. <laughs> Every female is a prize, but do you want to be a crappy participation trophy? Or do you want to be the Grand Prix? If you want to be the Grand Prix, there's got to be a little bit of effort on your part. You need to do a little bit of polishing, a little bit of getting yourself together. And what that looks like is inner work. You need to become the feminine polarity to his masculine polarity. The truth is, you need to know what a high quality masculine man needs and wants in the feminine. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what that can look like. Morals, standards, boundaries not being a hoe, not dressing like a hoe, family focused, kind, values her creativity, good with animals, kids, not selfish, not wanting to emasculate him or lead in the relationship, make him feel like the man. Really be in tune with your femininity. Something hard but important that I learned. I just have to sort of take this for what it is. Men value the visual. Whereas a woman bases her value of a man more holistically. Hers is more what can he provide for me. Very natural security and security in general is probably the main one that a feminine needs and values in a man. Because on a primal level, this is what the feminine needs. And on a primal level, what the masculine needs is to create beautiful, healthy babies. <laughs> it is what it is. So I recommend, and what I did, is take this to my advantage. At first I was like, I don't like this. Because being a woman, we base our value more holistically, so it's hard to hear that they just do look for looks, primarily. But it is what it is, as I said, and you take this to your advantage. So you need to up-level. Up-level to be the Grand Prix. I posted a video on how to manifest a glob if you want more details on that. But I'm gonna briefly tell you how you can do this. Dress feminine. No tracky bottoms, no ho outfits either. Invest in good quality jewelry, accessorize, smell good. Men are about the senses. And don't forget to smile. Some affirmations that I personally use that have become more belief systems now because I've adopted them into my subconscious. I am hot, I am sexy, I am sensual. Men are always approaching me. Men want to ask me out, they want to court me. I am a high value woman. Affirmations do work, so do not skimp out on these. Three, the feminine mindset. Since stepping into my feminine energy, I get picked up everywhere. Wherever I go, I attract high quality men like a magnet. On the street, you think, oh, on the street. High quality men have to walk somewhere. <laughs> because I have developed my feminine energy, I now have a feminine aura, and that is attracting masculine men. They can smell it on me. When you start being in your feminine energy, it really does work that way. The feminine mindset is the key, because what you believe to be true is true. You need to change your body posture to be more feminine 
And really all this looks like is just standing up straight, being open, being open to people, open to receiving men. This isn't high quality female. This, is, this isn't high quality female. Looking at your phone, your hunched over like this with your hoodie up, that's not high quality female. You need to open up. This really does work. If you wear heels casually as well, this will help in doing that more naturally. How you look is how you first are perceived. If you look like a hoe, people will think you're a hoe. If you look like a hobo, people will think you're a hobo. This is why it really does confuse me when women are like, I only attract toxic men, but you're literally dancing in the club with your ass cheeks out. Do you, you're obviously going to be attracting fuckboys. I don't understand some people's logic. Dress how you like. You don't have to dress like a nun or anything. But dressing more conservatively sends a signal that you are more serious and looking for a committed moral partnership and you're less likely to cheat so you're not a threat to a masculine man. When you're wearing a hoe outfit, it sends a signal that maybe you're a cheater. It's, when you dress more conservatively, you're less of a threat to a high quality masculine man who values loyalty. Open body posture sends a signal that you're open and inviting, try and smile too. That's when masculine men come towards you. They're like, oh, it's a feminine woman. She's got a smile, she's open. These small micro expressions are picked up subconsciously by men. Dress to impress. Every time you leave the house, think, I might meet someone. There's so many times I've done this when I thought, oh, I just want to keep my chuckies on. And I get dressed up and I meet someone. And this also lets the universe know that you are ready to meet someone. But here's the kicker. You need to be ready. If you're not open, you're not ready in yourself, then of course, you're not going to be a match for a masculine man. For so long, I wondered, why have I not found my soulmate yet? Why have I not found a high quality man? Why am I never asked on dates? But it was because I wasn't actually ready. I wasn't open. If someone did ask me out, I really didn't want to go. But it was mainly because I was insecure of myself. I wasn't in my feminine energy. I didn't feel like a prize at that point. But even though I really wanted it in the future. It wasn't a now present moment thing. It was like, I want it one day. And it's hard for people because when you're not ready and you're like, why isn't it happening? But you're not ready. So how can it happen now? But you can't let that stop you from applying the tips that I've told you today. But I just wanted to make you aware that if you're not in that space right now, that is okay. But if you are, apply these tips and you will be surprised at how fast and effectively they work. Keep the belief, don't give up, and slowly and surely, you will manifest everything you desire. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any other video recommendations, if you want me to talk more on feminine energy, more on masculine energy. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.